Welcome to a little segment we're gonna call Nailed It or Failed It. We're gonna take the internet's best, most beautiful crafts, DIYs, and recipes and try them ourselves. Butcher them. No, we're gonna do a really good job <laughs> and let you know exactly how they turn out and what kind of pitfalls you might experience. The solar eclipse is coming. Yeah. And, and is anybody else really freaked out by it? No. I think we're, I don't think I've ever seen it, so I don't so, know. So this is what happens when, here's the sun, here's the moon, it passes in front and it's gonna be this big shadow that's gonna cross in front of our country. I am freaked out. What Seriously. are you worried about, like werewolves or? No, I am freaked out because if, Ruby! Ruby! I am freaked out because if you look at it, if you look at a solar eclipse, you can seriously mess up your eyes. Like you can go is blind. That, is that the real thing? Or it is, that is just, a real thing. Okay. Oh, dog. I mean, I once took a pair of binoculars and looked at the sun for over an hour. He didn't. But seriously, it freaks me out because you can seriously go blind if you look at it without the proper eye protection. There's no way you can go blind by looking at a sword. Yes, you I, can! I, I'm, I'm calling shenanigans. No, you, you I need to like wear... You have to wear like special glasses. So anyway, I'm so freaked out that what instead of watching it like the rest of the country, I'm going to sit inside and have my very own solar eclipse party. And to do that, we are going to make a solar eclipse galaxy cake. So for this awesome mirror... Okay, for this awesome, it's gonna be great. This is gonna be great, guys. This is gonna be so good. For this awesome galaxy mirror cake, we are using a recipe from David, from David and Nico's YouTube channel. We got it off Instructables, and he is giving us permission to use his recipe and photos, okay? So, we're gonna make the cakes. He makes this cake, so if you look at the pictures, it looks kind of like a galaxy. He doesn't really say how to do that, mm -hmm. so we're gonna figure it Just, out. Just like take a spoon and swirl it, right? That's gonna well, okay. be a Milky Way thing. Okay, he didn't really explain how to do that, but if one of his cakes, one of his cakes is black. So I'm using a black gel food coloring in one of our cake mixes. I don't know, what do you say we do purple? Yeah! Uh, I'm gonna mix that one. And so is the blue like the stars and the crab nebulas and the pink is like the... <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Supernova stuff? Or the pink whatever. looks so cool. I want to eat. I don't know. Okay, so we're going to do, we're just going to kind of divide these up. Oh, gross. Oh, if you eat it, you can tell. Oh, wow. That's going to take some hand washing, isn't it? Okay, so nailed it. Tip number one, when dealing with food co coloring, maybe use gloves. This be really careful with this. Yeah. Ugh. Okay, let me pour in some black first. Ooh, bonk. Let's do some pink. The other one will be brown in the middle. Yeah. Oh, this is bridge. <laughs> yeah. Bridge. Are you sure you shouldn't be like swirling it in so it looks like? Yeah, I feel like it'll be brown spacey, though. Spacey, like kind of like the Milky Way is kind of a spiral, like yeah. Yeah, exactly. I feel like that's, that's how good. you, you want to cook good. it in a spirally. This is my only contribution. This is going to be so good when we sit inside and don't watch the solar eclipse. I'm not going to watch cool. it. I'm not going to watch it. You can really, unless you're wearing protective eye gear, let me tell you. Yeah, I'm going to. I'll bring sunglasses to school. But not, they can't even be normal sunglasses. They have to be like. Legit NASA sunglasses. Okay, while she's doing this, I'm going over to Snopes.com and we're gonna find out about the eclipse issue. And the answer is, it can cause something called solar retinopathy. Okay, that sounds bad to me. Wait, what does that do though? It can be caused by staring directly at the sun, but during a solar eclipse, more people are at risk because it's comfortable to stare. Okay, all right, you're right. I'm still gonna look straight at it. Wait. Well, that looks, guys, that looks kind of spacey. Looks kind of spacey. Okay, we're gonna bake those. And while those are baking for a set amount of time, let's figure out. Okay. <laughs> Dope. Oh, sorry. Dude, that icing is amazing. Add two packets of unflavored gelatin to half cup of water. Stir it as it might get out. Oh, junk. Nailed it or failed it, tip number two. Your kitchen is gonna be trashed by the time you're done with this. So we're, having, we're gonna stir it. Now we have to set it aside and it's gonna bloom. It's gonna what? Bloom. 
Next step, we're gonna add glaze. Put a cup of sugar. Ooh, oh, good. Okay. <laughs> Half a cup of light corn syrup and a quarter cup of water to the saucepan. <laughs> We're gonna add the light corn syrup and a tip to get the corn syrup to come all the way out of the measuring cup. Spray it with non cooking spray first. How many quarter cups makes up a half cup? A uh, two. Yeah. Okay, let's stir it. Here, stir. With what? Here, Wait. let me get it. Na another nailed it tip that it's bloomed when it looks like applesauce. I do know that. I'm adding the bloomed gelatin. Yeah. <laughs> I need the half cup of the sweetened condensed milk. These are, make sure this is These are nowhere near ready. We're gonna pour the mixture over eight ounces of white chocolate chip. <gasps> so is it supposed to melt the chocolate there? That's what I hope, I think. Okay. You know what though? You know what I just realized though? I've screwed up. That has to be his to get it out of my Extreme face. screw up close up. <laughs> because this has to be cooled down all the way and iced all the way before we add the, add the glaze. Uh, Thanks, Mom. Okay. Anytime someone messes up, you have to go extreme close. And up. this is not even, this is still a six minutes to cook. Drama, show me some drama. <laughs> dun, dun, dun! Okay, so tip. Have the cakes already done and iced a long time before you start the icing. I'm gonna finish cooking the cakes, let them cool, and then ice them with chocolate buttercream, and then we'll come back to this, and we'll just reheat it. The, we'll reheat the glaze. The cake is very black, but I can promise you I did not burn it. That is just the food coloring, but you can see all the pink and purple swirls as well. In the recipe, it did in fact say to have these cakes ready ahead of time. I just didn't, so sorry about that. Here's a realistic look at your kitchen once you're done. And we're back. It is dark outside. <laughs> we had to take a little bit of a break. I did, in that time, ice the cake. Lola went bowling, and now we're back. Okay, so this is our glaze. I wonder if we'll have enough. You have to have so many bowls to do this. I mean, did notice that. I'm gonna take this big one, and I'm gonna make it kind of a navy blue. I'm gonna do that by mixing black and blue, okay? This is the exact way to do it. I'm kidding. I don't really know the exact way to do this. Verde. Verde. Here, can I do that? I'll open it for you. So this kind of looks purpley. Now this has to be 90 degrees. What does? The glaze, because if it's too hot, I think it's gonna melt the, uh, the cake and the icing. If it's too cold, it's not gonna pour. Yeah. Um, and Lola. Oh. Mm. Did you, are you eating it? Mm, hey, no. will you go get one of those paint brushes? So here's here's the step we, we missed. Have it iced and ready. If you want it smooth, I would think you would cover it with fondant. This recipe, kind of the theory is, the Galaxy is not smooth. smooth. No, so. the Galaxy is a rich cluster tapestry of billions of stars. I've been watching Cosmos. <laughs> What's your favorite planet? A moon? Why is planet? the sun? <laughs> <laughs> we have nothing to do. Let's watch this. Let's watch this shit. Come here. Let me ask, what's your favorite planet? Well, I, I don't have a favorite. Uh, I find them all fascinating. They're all part of a. Mine's the sun! <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, it is now 9 o'clock, and I'm thinking it might be time just to, uh, no. just to kind of go for it. What do you think, Mommy? Well, this is just, I'm just worried because this is uh, this is still warm. I think it's like 100 degrees, so we're gonna call it even. Okay, okay, this is gonna be great, guys. This is gonna be amazing, and we're gonna have so much fun as a family. <laughs> here goes, oh, here goes. That looks good. <gasps> Let me have to do this part first, Lola. That looks really good. Okay, I'm trying to... Say okay. 
Okay. Let me, I'm gonna try to really quickly use this spoon to cover up the sides. So are you supposed to completely cake it with one color and then start dribbling the rest of it? Is that the plan? Yes. Okay. Okay. Now purple. Now try to get the, 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 the places that I missed. Just try to get the places that I missed, Lola. Yeah, yeah dribble on the side. Okay. And go back and forth. Okay, okay that's starting to look kind of space-ish. And it's Halloween-ish. We're just gonna do it back and forth a couple times. Ready? Um, you gonna help me? Okay, that's pretty good. Now can I have green? Okay. A little cake starting. Yes, thank you for that. It's like a basketball. Yeah, it's thicker. I feel like we've got enough sugar on this at this point, right? Are we good on sugar? It looks, I mean, th that looks like a planet. Oh, that's good. Those Look, are perfect stars. We found these edible glitter stars. Oh, wow. Lola. Can I do a couple? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm gonna go on the side. That looks way that looks better. Much more than that, yeah. Okay, that is an awesome little audible, mommy. That super looks like a galaxy. Oh wow, honey. <laughs> oh well, I mean there was that part, but. Yeah. Okay guys, do you think we nailed it or failed it? I think nailed we it. nailed it. You <laughs> nailed it. It's kind of in the middle of nailed it and failed it. So we, we didn't do exactly what we were expecting, but still pretty good. So I feel like it's nailed, nailed it. Which is I, like, I like think, in the middle. I think we ma nailed it. Here's what I learned. First, have those cakes ready, meaning follow the directions. Use gloves if you don't wanna look like you've been changing oil all day long. If you want it to look very smooth, you see how like lazy and smooth and mirrory it looks? If you want it to look really smooth, use fondant. We use just a normal buttercream icing, but I still think it looks pretty good. Also, have more bowls on hand than like Pottery Barn. That is, we've already done dishes twice. And? And I made up one, so this happens a lot to me. Like, I see something really good, it looks really good, and it has, it says simple instructions that you can follow to make this. And you make it, and it's not as good as what you see in the picture. So don't expect it to be that good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like that one. I'm a but, huge fan of lowering expectations. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, David, for letting us try your recipe. Leave a comment of what we should try next. And okay, now we're gonna eat it. Now we're gonna eat it and see if it turned out all galaxy. What do you think our teeth are gonna look like? Who cares? Oh, look at the inside. That's so gnarly. That's so cool. That is so awesome looking. I'm gonna have this one. I have all the outside. Oh, it's buddy. really good. You like it? Yeah. It's incredible. No, it's so good. Guys, can we all give mommy a round of applause for how awesome, you did so awesome. Take a bow, take a bow, 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 take a bow. Take a bow. Okay, guys, if you like this video, please tell your friends, hit that subscribe button. We're doing lots more vlogs here on the Hornets Family Vlogs channel and on the Facebook show pages. We're having a lot of fun. And